So Celtic are playing Maldi, I believe, yep. uh, in a big European game. European matches are quite important, Lisa. Just they to let are you know. indeed. And Chris got substituted. Yes, he did. And he wasn't best pleased about it. Mm-hmm. So as he came off, he was pretty angry. And I watched this at home. I was, I was working at the same time. I'm watching the game. And then my phone started going nuts. Ting, ting, ting. And I thought... Oh, Chris must have scored. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. But what I will say, I mean, I looked and thought, wow, this is, you know, the, the cameras were on Chris, the cameras weren't on the game for a good 10 seconds. And mm. I could see that he was clearly upset by being substituted. And you said, yes, that and quiet guy. So he it, he wasn't oh, yeah. playing up for the camera. Oh, so no. I'm sure he would have not wanted to be on camera at this point. It was a side of Chris that the Celtic supporters had not seen before. But it was a, a passionate side to him. It was a, you know, not kicking off and spitting the dummy out f- for the sake of it. Mm. It was because he is so passionate. He he wants to win. And what I will say about Chris is whenever he gets, because this, this story does come up <laughs> often. And the first thing that, because people do come up and people say, Chris, that were really unprofessional, you know, and we read about people saying how unprofessional it was. And you get another group of fans that will say, how you felt is exactly how we felt, Chris, watching mm-hmm. the game. Yeah. And Chris's re- response is always the same. And he'll say, it is, it was completely unprofessional of me to have acted that way. And I'm disappointed in myself and for the supporters that watch me in acting that way. Right, that's his statement on no. Twitter. How did he really feel? <laughs> and honest to God, yes, he was so upset by being mm. subbed and it was passion that made him do that. But hand on heart, he did feel like that's not for everybody to see. It wasn't for everybody to see. It should have been kept yep. in the dressing room and there should have been more respect there. And he's the first one to say that. So, Fair yeah, he did, he did yep. come in and he were like... Because I stayed up, but I don't think they got in till. I feel like it was very early hours of the morning, oh, and I many stayed a time up after an evening yeah. game. They don't get into two or three in the morning, yeah. and they're starving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have something ready for them to eat. So you're then you get all the gossip. I feel like what you're making for us, Chris, when he'd got in. But quite quickly, it was like that's not the way that that should have gone. But Chris does appreciate as well that there's a very young audience that look up to Chris like what Chris did when he was lit, a little lad playing football mm. at, at the Stars and at their idols. And he doesn't want kids to think that that is how you act. He wants to be mm. seen as a good role model. And I agree with him with that. I do think it's passion and I don't, you know, but I do agree with him that it, it wasn't for that point at that, at that place. <laughs> 